Hi guys, Flex5101, Esteban here, and today I want to show you how to install decking surfaces. So for today's example, we have already generated a wire frame into tube and joint structure, and all we want to do now is just show you really quickly how to open up the open library icon, search for the decking folder, and it's as simple as drag and drop. So we're going to look for the surface that we want. In this case, we're going to use a half inch HDPE white surface. So we'll drag and drop into our drawing and uh, we'll go ahead and use our top view. Okay, so we're close enough to our, sur uh, our structure. So we'll go ahead and leave it there for now. What I want to do now is I want to do two things. I want to go ahead and make a measure or excuse me, take a measurement. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to take a measurement from one end to the other. I'm in my top view. So here we go. I have 48 inches in length. And then the second thing I want to do is maybe go side view and go ahead and do the same thing front to back. So I've got, I'm going to go ahead and take a measurement. I'm using a reference point, the center of that joint. And I'll go ahead and look for that same reference point on the other end. And it's a 36 inch in depth. So that's the measurements that I want to remember. It's a 48 by 36 inch structure. So I can do that in various ways. The simplest way would be to go ahead and select my surface and go ahead and use tape, the tape tool to make a guideline. So I'm going to look for the edge on edge of the surface and I'm going to drag out a guideline at 36 inches. So there we have established 36 inches in length and I'll go ahead and now since we're working with inside of this component, we can go ahead and click or rather use the mouse to select just the end of this decking surface. So we can see that we have only selected that, uh, that plane if you will. And now by selecting the move icon, the move button from the SketchUp software, We'll go ahead and click on that corner and we'll go ahead and look for that guideline to click to, right? So there we go, we're online and we see a reference point that has been shown. So we are good. So there we go, let's get rid of this guideline. And now if we take a quick measurement here, we're gonna have a surface that is 48 by 36. So let's look at this from our top view and what I need to do now is go ahead and rotate this surface. So I'll, I'll select it and I will go ahead and rotate it using the rotate tool and it's just going to turn it around and now what we want to do is go ahead and look for a reference point on the decking surface and we're going to move it over and click it onto our structure. So our reference point in this case we can use our um, that bottom left corner. So we'll go ahead and click on this and I'm using again once again we're selecting the move icon from the SketchUp software and we're going to just go ahead and find that end point and zoom out and move it over closer to our structure and we're going to look for an end point to click to. So here we go, we're zooming in and now we can click onto that endpoint. It is the center of that joint and I'll explain why we're doing this now. So that's a, a, a center point here and we still, let's look at this from front view, we still have to go a little bit, a little bit uh, closer to the end. And right now we need to be understanding that we're always working with that inch and five sixteenths in our wire frame. So that wire frame that we originally used to make this structure uh, represents that center line, which is why an inch and five sixteenths is the overall measurement that we understand the tube and joint to be. So let's look at this from the top view. And really quickly with my tape measure, I can measure from one end to the other and we have an inch and five sixteenths. So that's where I wanted to explain why I have placed this in the center because now by placing it in the center I know that half of an inch and five sixteenths is five eighths. So 
So at this point, I'm exactly on the edge in the front, and I can go ahead and use the move icon to move this surface five eighths of an inch, which is where if you look at the bottom left corner in the distance, I'm going to input five eighths and it's going to put me exactly on the edge of that surface. So that's a really good way to use, uh, to be very precise uh, when using your, uh, when, excuse me, when placing your decking surfaces. So we can see here that we have selected it and it's exactly where we want it to be. Uh, if I wanted to, I could put another one at the bottom. So I could go ahead and make this a copy and bring this copy down to perhaps using this reference point in the center here. We can use that same reference point in the center of this joint and move a copy down to the second shelving. And we can use that same middle reference point on this particular joint. And it's going to put us exactly on that, uh, right on top of that surface as well. Excuse me, right on top of the pipes. So there we go. So that's exactly how you go ahead and install any decking surfaces. So we use guidelines to resize our decking to fit our structure. And then we're using reference points to go ahead and uh, locate the uh, endpoints of a joint and match it with the endpoints of a surface so that you can go ahead and place the surfaces where they need to be. So that is it for the uh, how to install a decking surface. Any other questions, check the website and uh, we'll see you next time.